Hey guys, welcome to the Hacked Existence video tutorial on photoresistors or photocells. In this video, we're going to look at hooking up a photocell to a Raspberry Pi and then using the GPIO pins to read the intensity of light from the sensor. So let's start by taking a look at the hardware. So here we have just a little photo cell, uh, and if you see on the top there when it focuses, it's just got little squiggly lines. Uh, this is also called a photoresistor. Basically, it works just like a normal resistor, um, but the amount of resistance changes with the amount of light that you shine into the top of it. Here we have just a regular capacitor, so we're going to put these two together to make a circuit to be able to measure the amount of light hitting the photo cell uh, from a Raspberry Pi. Alright, so here's the circuit that we're going to use. Um, you can see we go from the positive rail here uh, up to one side of our photo cell. And then the other side of our photo cell, uh, we've got this yellow lead coming off of, and that goes to pin 22 on the Raspberry Pi. That's what we're going to use to actually read um, where the capacitor is at. So on the same rail there, we have the positive side of the capacitor, and then the negative side of the capacitor is plugged into the negative rail. Uh, so our positive and negatives here go to pin 1 and 9 on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, pin 1 is 3.3 volts, pin 9 is ground. Um, and so basically what we do is we take this pin 22 here and we set it to negative um, so it drains all the energy out of our capacitor here. Then we immediately flip this pin into read mode and then pull it to see when the capacitor fills back up. So the way we actually measure how much light is hitting the photocell is we measure the amount of time that it takes the capacitor to fill up. So once the capacitor is full, this becomes high, and then we can stop pulling and take the number of milliseconds that it took. All right, so now we have our hardware circuit all built out. It's plugged into the Pi, and the Pi is booted. So let's go ahead and SSH into the Pi. So if you followed the last tutorial of setting up Django, um, we're running virtual ENV. So if we do which Python, you can see that we're using a Python that's provided by virtual ENV. But if we do sudo which Python for which one root is using, you can see it's using the system's built-in Python. So if we execute Python uh, just as our user and try to import our pi.gpio, you'll see it's not there. But if we do sudo Python, we can import our pi.gpio. So if you can't uh, import our pi.gpio as root, uh, it's real simple, sudo apt git install, sorry, we'll use pip, pip install our pi.gpio, and it'll tell us we already have it installed. Um, so anytime you're trying to read or write to the GPIO pins on a Raspberry Pi, you need to be root. So we're not too worried about our users' Python um, because they're not going to be able to interface with the GPIO pins anyway. So, okay, we are um, in the home directory here. Let's vim lightsensor.py. Okay, so we'll say import rpy.gpio as gpio, and we'll also import time. Uh, we'll do gpio.setmode. This will be gpio.board, so there's three different ways that you can number your GPIO pins. I prefer gpio.board, uh, but you can look up on the internet to see what the difference is. So we'll make a function here, we'll call it rctime, and it'll take an argument called rcpin, so it'll be recharge capacitor time. Uh, we'll start with a variable, reading is zero, um, and then we'll do gpio.setup. Uh, for the RC pin, we're going to set it to GPIO.out. So each pin can only be in output or input mode at any given time. You can't write and read at the same time. So you have to switch between the two. So then we'll do GPIO.output on RC pin and we'll bring it to GPIO.low. So what this is going to do is we'll put a little time.sleep here and that'll give us enough time to drain all of the energy out of the capacitor. Um, and then once that's done, we'll do gpio.setup rc pin and we'll set it to gpio.in to read from it now. Um, and then we'll just use a while loop, gpio.input on the rc pin it is set to gpio.low. We're going to increment reading. 
So this will count the number of how many times that loop can run. And so it'll probably change as there's different loads on the system. But uh, it'll give us some kind of idea of the amount of light coming into the sensor. So then we'll return that reading. Um, and then we'll just make this a never-ending loop uh, to print RC time. And we'll send it pin 22 uh, because that's what we have our sensor plugged into. So let's take a look at what that does now. Um, first we need to chmod plus x light sensor to make this executable. And we'll do sudo python light sensor.py. And now you can see we're dumping uh, light values. Okay, so here I have a rigid industry slope with about 800 lumens. Let's see what happens when we light up the uh, photo cell there. So you can see that the charge time goes way down when we turn the flashlight on. Um, way back up, it takes a lot longer to fill that capacitor. Um, and as we get the flashlight closer and further away, um, you can see the light intensity changing. Alright, so that script is available on hackedexistence.com. You can just copy and paste it off of there. Um, in the next video, we'll take a look at how to dump these values into the Django database so that we can log the amount of light hitting our sensor throughout the day. Thanks for watching.